divine truth frequently ask questions. Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and public. The subject of this session is spirits. This is session two. Who or what are angels? Well, angels are the complete opposites of demons <laughs> or devils, if you like. Uh, angels are people who have lived on earth, who have making, made choices while they're on earth that are in harmony with love. Now, the majority of people when they live on earth don't make all their choices in harmony with love, although we have the capacity to do so. The majority of people are influenced negatively as well as positively. And so what happens is the average person on the planet doesn't arrive in the spirit world as an angel. They arrive in the spirit world in one of the earlier spheres of the spirit world. Usually it's the first sphere of the spirit world. Very few people on the earth ever arrive above the second sphere of the spirit world. And that's because most people on earth have learnt to use their will out of harmony with love quite significantly mm -hmm. while they're on earth. They've been taught to do so by their environment. And also they've made a lot of choices, personal choices, out of harmony with love. So they arrive in the spirit world maybe in the first sphere. Then they learn about that, that progression is all about love through a series of events that usually occur after they've arrived in the spirit world. Once they learn that and they actively engage progress in love, they, and particular in, in receiving divine love, so that's what turns a person into an angel, they begin to receive divine love. Once they receive enough divine love that all of the errors that they've ever committed have all been released from them, all the reasons why they did such things have all been released from them, and they have no tendencies whatsoever to do any of those things anymore, they become at one with God in love. And once they become at one with God, they are called an angel. Mm -hmm. And so there are many billions of angels now in the spirit world. Um, who over the time from 2,000 years ago to now have developed in that, into that condition after arriving from earth into the spirit world in the first or second dimension. Some of them, as I've pointed out in a previous answer, have even arised, uh, in, arrive, arrive in the spirit world as demons. Mm. <laughs> They've even arro arrived, arrived, in, yeah. arrived in the spirit <laughs> world uh, in a very, very dark and wicked condition, but they have still progressed over time by learning how to love into being an angel. Uh -huh. So all of the angels that I have ever met in the spirit world have all been people who have lived on earth but who have made choices to develop in love and in particular the choice to receive God's love in order to develop in love to the point where they've become at one with God. Mm. And they are the angels of the spirit world. So just to... Can I point out yes. before we proceed? There are many people on earth who classify other beings as angels. So there is a whole group of beings who have not received God's love, who b believe themselves to be divine, and these beings are in the sixth dimension of the spirit world, whereas the condition of at one with God is the eighth sphere of the spirit world. And there are many people on earth who call these spirits angels, but they are not angels. They are just the perfect, perfect natural man. Mm -hmm. So they've become perfected in love, in, in terms of natural love, but they have not received divine love. And so there are many of these kind of spirits who claim themselves to be divine, but who are not angels from God's definition of, of the matter and who have not become at one with God. Mm. Mm. Okay. So um, just to clarify, you're saying that no one is created an angel. No, just like no one has created a devil. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we have to make choices. If, and no one, no one is been created already in an angelic state because people have that kind mm. of belief, don't they? Yeah. They do, and yeah. no one has been created in an angelic state. To do so would be against free will. Mm -hmm. The primary gift God has given us, there's two gifts that God gives us. One is a gift that we have to ask for, and the other one we've been given without, without even asking. <laughs> whether we like it or <laughs> whether not. Whether we liked it or not. <laughs> the gift that we've been given, whether we liked it or not, is the gift of, obviously there are a number of those gifts, but life is one of them. Yes. But the important thing that influences our future is our will, how we choose to use our will. That is a gift God gave us and how we choose to our, use our will is completely independent of anything else. Like we can choose to use it negatively and suffer the consequences of doing so or choose to use it positively and suffer the consequences of doing so. Mm -hmm. And uh, the... So that's the use of our will. The second gift, the, the primary gift that God's given us, we have to ask for, and that's divine love. 
And many people have never used their will to ask for divine love and some people in the future never will, potentially never mm -hmm. will. And so they will be limited to the development of the perfect natural man in love at some point in their future. And that's the sixth dimension of the spirit world or the sixth sphere and that particular sphere. And there are many people who believe themselves to be God. There, there are many gods in that sphere that are self-appointed, <laughs> yes. I should say. And, but none of them are children of God in the sense of becoming, they've become at one with God. So they're children of God in the sense that God created them, but they're not children of God with regard to the reception of divine love. They haven't become born again mm -hmm. with love. Mm -hmm. Those particular spirits, of course, many of them are in good condition in terms of how they interact with people, but they don't know all the truth. They think they do, many of them do, think that they know all, everything, but they don't know all the truth and they don't know everything about love in particular because they've not received God's love. They uh, also are limited in their expression. They, they have a very happy life uh, because they've become perfected in love, in the, nat in the expression of the love coming out of themselves. But uh, they don't ever have the supreme happiness that comes from receiving God's love. Mm -hmm. They also are limited in their development. In other words, they can't develop ex infinitely. They are limited in their development to the development of the sixth dimension or sixth sphere. So those particular spirits, um, some people on earth refer to them as angels. They often refer to themselves as angels, but they are not angels from the definition that, that the spirits in the higher spheres have given. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One last uh, clarifier sure. on what you've said. You said that in the last 2,000 years, there have been many people who've become angels. Mm -hmm. Is that to say that there wasn't any angels before your life in the first century? That's correct. There were no angels surrounding this particular earth uh, before that time. And after I discovered how to become at one with God, it was the process that was important. And once a person discovered how to become at one with God, then they could follow that process and become at one with God. So I became the first angel, if yes. you like, yep. the person who progressed from a condition on earth into the condition of being at one with God in love. And then after myself, there were two other spirits who, who did that in the spirit world shortly after I did. And uh, Who were they? They were Moses and Elias. Oh. And both of them became at one with God in the spirit world as well. In the process of becoming at one with God, a new dimension was created. So that when I became at one with God, the eighth dimension or eighth sphere of the spirit world was created at that point in time. And, uh, and then other spirits uh, entered that condition after they became at one with God. And then, of course, I became closer and closer to God. A ninth dimension, a tenth dimension and so forth was created until we've so far created 36 dimensions mm -hmm. in, the spirit, in the spirit world. But the spirits who uh, do not receive love from God cannot enter those dimensions. They are limited in entering the sixth dimension or sixth sphere. They cannot enter these other dimensions. Now, the reason why it happened that way was because the first human couple decided to use their will out of harmony with love mm -hmm. and therefore degraded their condition to such an extent that God, that no person following them could use their will until myself, used their will to receive love. So it took many, many th tens of thousands of years between the first human couple being alive and then and my coming to earth before somebody on earth decided to exercise their will to receive love. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that is a process that happened in the first century. And, and because of that, there were no angels before that period of time. Mm. But now, in the last 2,000 years, there have been many people who have exercised that same privilege as, uh, as I did in the first century and continue to do. And as a result, there are many millions and millions and millions of, of spirits who have progressed to the point of becoming angels in the spirit world. Mm. Thank you.